So this is our July 24th update of the garden. As you can see, we've got a lot of pumpkins growing. We've got Atlantic Giants uh, that were growing this year, squash, and also uh, the, the orange-white uh, color. So we have a lot of foliage and a few pumpkins. we got two of them that I'll show you, and if you see white um, sheets, they're smaller pumpkins that we're just kind of watching that hopefully are going to take and start growing. And we got our corn, and tomatoes, and giant sunflowers, and I'll take you around, let you kind of see all of them. So. so this has been one of my favorite heirloom tomatoes that we're growing. And we've got lots and lots of sets. They're really, really thick. I should have thinned them. Yes, definitely should have thinned them out. But I have a habit of not thinning out my tomatoes. I just hate to cut off a tomato. And having said that, they're still going to be nice and big and luscious, even though I didn't um, thin them out. So a wonderful plant. This is supposed to be uh, a variety from Russia. So a wonderful heirloom tomato. We're really looking forward to some bacon some lettuce and some tomato on a piece of homemade bread for sure strawberries have done really well this year uh, these these strawberries are strawberries that my father and mother purchased years ago and we've just kind of taken the runners and planted them along the front edge of our garden wall we had a ton of strawberries in June and uh, now we're just getting um, some stragglers throughout uh, July here, but we have another bloom that's coming on. And so lots of strawberries. Uh, I'm trying to be better in pruning off the runners and making sure that I strengthen up the plants. Uh, we're also coming up to a volunteer cherry tomato that uh, I couldn't yank up, so we decided to let it go. We'll see how it tastes. But our strawberries go all the way around on the outside of our garden on this wall. Um, the cord is up there um, for a fan that's on Lynn's pumpkin. Keep air flowing over the pumpkin. I'll show you the pumpkin a little later. But you can see some, some of the strawberries uh, that are still, still coming on for us. There's a nice one right here. Look at that beauty. That's a nice, uh, nice strawberry right there. Wow. Oh. That is tasty. Wonderful. So here are peppers. We're growing some Anaheim peppers and some Poblano peppers. And we have some um, jalapenos. We got some, some nice fruit in there that are developing and actually ready to use. I'm excited to I like uh, a little bit of uh, red on them. And we planted onions, red onions, along with them side by side. And we got a sweet, some sweet peppers in here as well. There's one, there's a couple of them right down in there. And flavor burst or flavor master, I think is what it is. Then we have beets um, paired up with our tomatoes. And they are white beets down in here that have had significant problem with uh, leaf miners. And I just don't spray for them, but uh, they still do, do well, even though they had multiple generations of, of leaf miners. And then we have some nice heirloom tomatoes in here. got a lot of tomatoes that kind of got away from me a little bit. I have been gone for a while so I didn't do any pruning but they're gonna be gonna be nice and big. And over here we've got the carrots that the kids planted. So we've got uh, they planted them very close together. So that's a wasp. And then, of course, we have some little onions that are also 
paired up with them. So we, we planted white onion, yellow onions, um, and red onions this year. So it's been very fun. Okay, now let's take a look at some of these maters. Yeah, some nice ones there. Very nice ones. I need to prune some of them off, I know. And then down here is some summer squash and some red, some red beets down below on the other side of these tomatoes. So, yeah, they're looking pretty good. And we've got a zucchini and some yellow squash. I can't remember what that funky one is, but they always seem to to grow so quickly that you, you, don't, you don't eat them all. And some more peppers. This is a habanero here. And I can't remember the name, but it's supposed to be one. It's supposed to be the type of habanero that is not too hot. And that one right there, I think that's a poblano pepper. I hope I'm saying that right. And guess what? More tomatoes. As you can see, we really look. So up here, we're coming to a nice green fruit. It's a light green. Wish it was a little darker. And this one is Lucy's. We pollinated this at the same time as the root beer. And let's put on some size. Hope that it will, will be a nice one. It's got some captain on the stem there. It was kind of oozing. And the problem with this squash is that it's only about six and a half to seven feet from the stump. That's the only one that's set. You know, we keep the one that's set. So. But keep growing, my green friend. So we got our squash here, and over here we have the revere. The revere is definitely bigger than that squash. pollinated with the delays. And the fan on there. There we go. Keep growing them.